Hey folks, William Holder with the William Holder Realty team here. Just wanted to take a second to remind all the buyers out there and all the sellers of the changes in our current real estate market. Right now, the biggest thing we're seeing is that interest rates have kind of jumped up, honestly, not so much a creep. I had people earlier this year getting three, 2.9, 3.25. Right now, buyers are fighting to get four and a quarter, four and a half. Late last week, I had people getting 4.875. Thankfully, it came back down a little bit. Things to understand and to know about that and how that affects the market overall. One, if you're a home buyer, talk to your lender, talk to your realtor, adjust your expectations. If you were buying a $300,000 house or a $500,000 house or a $150,000 house, whatever your price point was, run those numbers again and just make sure that where you were at three and a quarter, now at four and a half, you're comfortable with that payment. That really, really, really makes a big difference and it can really hurt your budget. So adjust accordingly early on so that you don't go into a house thinking you're gonna be in love with it. And when you see the numbers, it's shell shock. So that's really important for the buyers. For the sellers, understand that's gonna price people out of your market, right? Or out of your margins. That's gonna price people out of your price points. So if you're a $300,000 home seller and maybe you had 20 people that wanted to buy your house last week or two weeks ago or three months ago, maybe that number is 10 or 15, maybe that number is five, maybe that number is one. Staying honest with the market values, understanding they're raising rates to fight inflation and slow down the growth in these markets is important to understand. Don't project your home's value out too far, project for what's working right now. Um, and you know, let's see how it plays out. I don't see it slowing down a lot of our buyers. They're just adjusting accordingly. I don't see it slowing down a lot of our sellers. We're still getting market value as long as we price these homes correctly. The biggest thing is just understanding where everything is shifting and where everything's going to and making those changes accordingly so that you're not left holding the bag if for some reason uh, you decide to buy a house too much that you, can, you can't afford or overprice your home if you're a home seller. Uh, speak to your sales, speak to your realtors, and always feel free to reach out to us at the William Holder Realty Team. We're always happy to help.